Hey, Shalom. Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim. Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, much respect to the brothers that are doing the work. And as always, Shalom to the elect. And just wanted to go into a video real quick. Uh, yesterday at camp, uh, this thing here, you, you, as you can see, <laughs> that's coming. That's coming fast, man. But yesterday at camp, uh, I just. Uh, you know, went into uh, yeah, you know, going into Jacob's trouble. You know, uh, things are gonna become uh, get a little, get, it's gonna things are gonna get a little bit hectic. You know, in the coming coming time, so you have to uh, prepare yourself with these scriptures. You have to uh, put on the whole armor, as the scriptures say. Let me get that real quick. Let's see, uh, let's get that. Uh, but first, Slocky, let's get. Uh, let me see. I just saw it. Let's see, let's get this real quick first. It says uh, Proverbs twenty-two and three. It says, "A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself." How do you hide yourself in these scriptures? This Bible is going to provide a hedge of protection around you. It's the this word, this, this is a, uh, this, this information is going to be within us. It's going to protect you, okay, during these times that's coming, and it's going to, it's going to maintain you. It's going to, it's going to maintain a sense of, it's going to keep you stable, as, uh, as, as the scriptures say. But it says, a prudent man foreseeth, see this, the evil, and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. See. Uh, so yeah, so this is gonna. You have to foresee the the evil, just like this, just like uh, it says in uh, what is it, Second Ezra nine? It says measure the times diligently in itself. See, you have to pay attention. You have to uh, pay attention to what's happening in the news and also the scriptures. The Bible is gonna is like a measuring rod. It's gonna or a guide to let you know where you're at in the, in these prophecies. You see, but um, you see, let me get you this real quick. Uh, let's see. Let me get this right here. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, bro. This is this is what's going to protect you. Uh, let's see. Let's start in verse ten. It says, "Finally, finally, Slocky." Ephesians six and six and ten, Slocky. Ephesians six and ten. It says, "Finally, my brethren." See this? This is a personal club. This is this is. Not for everybody. This brethren is talking about the elect. Okay, it's a small number, a small remnant so that's going to be be preserved. And I touched on this a little bit yesterday in at camp, but anyway, it says, "Finally, finally, my brethren, be strong. See this in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil." And that armor is this Bible, this word, this doctrine. You see that? Put on those garments. Okay, those holy garments. It says uh, Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You see? And in verse 13, it says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor. See this? This Bible is like an armor. It's like a protection. Of the Most High, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. See this? As we're coming to a bad time, the evil day, Jacob's trouble, and having done all to stand. See this? So it says, Wherefore take on, let me read that again, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to withstand, see, in the evil day, having done all to stand. See that? So you're not going to be able to keep going. Uh, 14, stand therefore having your loins girded about with truth. And having on the breastplate of righteousness, verse fifteen, uh, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. So, let's see, it's verse sixteen is above all, take the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word. See this. Which is the word of the Most High? See, so let's see. Um, 
Psalms 91 and 1, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place. See this? That's that word again. This is the Bible, the scriptures, doctrine. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, He is my refuge. See this? And my fortress. See? This is the Lord's this word is like, it's like a fortress. And my power in in him will I trust. See? It's like a fortress. It's like a, a protection. Surely he will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and the noisome pestilence. Those are the bombs. You see, let's keep going. It says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, which are the chariots, so called UFOs, and under his wings shall thy trust. His troops shall be thy shield and buckler. See that? That's what we read back in Ephesians, right? So let's see. Um, let's get the name of the Lord. See, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Let's see. Proverbs eighteen and ten. The name Yahweh Shai of the Lord Yahweh Shai is a strong tower. See, the righteous runneth into it and is safe. See this. So the name. So you gotta have the name of the Lord. You can't call him Jebus Cripes, Jebus Crops. You see. That ain't that ain't gonna work. <laughs> you gotta call on the right name, man. You see this? Uh the Lord, listen, like I always say, man, if your name is Oh Randy Spikes or something. Randy. Randy whatever. If someone call you something another name, you're not gonna respond to it, man. So you gotta call on the right name. Um, let's see. And the elect, they they're gonna know the name. Let me get that. Uh, let's see. Let's go here. This Revelation seven and three. Let's see. This is pretty much where we at now, man. That, that those winds of destruction is about to be released. Let's see. Uh, let's start at the top. It says Revelation seven. It says, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds. See, that's easy. That, that's the, the winds of destruction. The four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor any, nor on the sea, nor any tree, which are people, right? Verse 2, it says, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads see that this is going into that spiritual mark called the thawa the hebrew word for the for the mark is thawa the spiritual mark not the actual revelation 13 and 16. but see this 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 says this when it says has sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads going into this doctrine this word the, the spiritual armor and also the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. See that? And in, in the elect is pretty much probably all, the 144,000, I should say, is pretty much sealed, I would imagine, right? Okay, I'm, 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 I'm not sure, not 100%, but I'm sure the elect, the 144,000, okay, I'm not talking about the innumerable multitude, okay, I'm not talking about the 144, it's pretty much, it's probably almost sealed. You see that? And you go to verse 4, it says, And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and were and there were sealed in 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. And see, these winds of destruction hasn't been released just not quite yet. I mean, it seemed like it's, it's, it's gradually coming in, but let's see. Uh, let's go to... Isaiah real quick 55 and 6 It says Seek ye the Lord Where he may be found See this You gotta seek him now Don't, don't wait Go go look at these videos This family of the word Is coming man <laughs> It's pretty much here now I'm hearing stories Of brothers having troubles uh, Loading uh, blessings And whatnot. I just I'm I'm just pretty much Getting off a of strike right now I was on strike For two weeks You know So uh, You gotta seek him now bro I mean You know uh, says seek ye the Lord where he may be found see because he's not gonna always be found call ye upon him while he's near okay you gotta have the name let's see uh verse 7 says let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man uh his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord 
and he will have mercy upon him and and to our power for he will abundantly pardon and when we talk about the wicked here it's talking about the israelites that are wicked not the actual edomites the, the edomites are the wicked but we have israelites that are wicked but they're not the wicked see it's talking about the israelites only the, only the israelites can be saved you see so uh let's see uh let's get a few more scriptures but man we we close man this thing is i don't really see this thing coming uh going past 2025 bro you know the brothers are excited they want to get out of here i want to hey come on lord let's get it going let's go let's get sooner we can get it done as soon as we can get into the kingdom <laughs> Um, so yeah, the names of the Lord It's important You gotta know the names, man That's why they changed the names to Jebus Hebus Jebus Because, you know, they didn't It was it's power in that name uh, Here in Proverbs 30 and 4 it says Who hath ascended up into heaven Or descended Who hath gathered the wind in his fist Who hath bound the waters in a garment Who hath established all the ends of the earth What is his name And what is his son's name If thou can tell and the name of the heavenly father is Yahweh, which means he is or he is to be. And the name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. And I just wanted to go into that real quick. And uh, I just want to give all thanks and praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash, Shalom.